welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be giving my tips on how you can improve your score on the quantitative reasoning subtest of the UKCAT. This follows on from my first video where I gave you some tips on the verbal reasoning section. Personally, I actually found the quantitative reasoning section one of my hardest sections and that's why I really wanted to give you some tips on how I managed to improve my score. So my first tip is to try and avoid using the calculator as much as possible. Using the calculator can waste time and I know that for me personally I started to use the calculator as sort of a way to double check my answers. I didn't trust that I could actually answer some quite basic maths because I wanted to get it perfectly and I wanted to get it right. But you should trust your brain and try and avoid using the calculator because it just wastes time. Instead, practice mental maths or even find potential shortcuts for long multiplication or division or if it's multiplying by say 98, multiply by 100 and then remove two times whatever it is you're multiplying by. However, this does lead on to my next tip, which is if you do need to use the calculator, then make sure you are doing it in as few steps as possible, but also try and use the keyboard. The keyboard will really save you time. Practice using the keyboard um, when you are doing your practice. Don't just think, oh, I'll just use my normal calculator use a computer calculator as much as possible. It just helps you get into the zone, get muscle memory for where the keys are and things like that. So it will really save you time. Another tip is to practice things like percentage change, simple or compound interest, things like that because they're really, really good questions that I think the UK cat really like to use, especially on their more complex questions that have massive tables or graphs on them. If you are able to really quickly know how to do those sorts of questions because you practiced and practiced, that will really save you time because obviously with the table questions, there's quite a lot of stuff that you need to read through and pick out the information that you need. So make sure that you know really quickly how to answer the different sorts of questions because that will really save you time. So my final tip for the quantitative reasoning section is don't be afraid to round up or round down when you're working out your answers. Don't be afraid to estimate the answer or eliminate the obviously wrong answers. That being said, that won't work for all the questions. I remember trying to do that, but sometimes I just couldn't because the answer options that they gave were just really close together or were out by a couple of decimal places. And so rounding up and down really doesn't help. But if you can, that's great and it will really, really save you time. So I hope this very short video has been useful in giving you some extra tips on how you can improve your quantitative reasoning score when you're taking the UK CAT. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.